I'm back. That should be a clean cut for you two. Here we are. Time for uh, official title, Clock Tower, Ghost Head. American or Western release title, Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. Because the naming conventions are weird in this series, due to not all of them being uh, released in the West. And yeah, I'm going in 100% blind here. I have no idea what I'm in for. I haven't even seen this intro video. This already feels a little more polished than uh, the last one. Oh, wow, the graphics got way better. Guess they got a little more better, a little more comfortable at 3D. Kind of look like human beings this time. I didn't press anything. That's just how that ended. All right. Not Scissor Man now. We got something new. Uh, event cut off and on. I don't know what that means, but it started off, so we'll leave it that way. What we got here? We got ending list. A through M. Look at all these endings. 13 endings, plus potentially a secret ending. Wow. I wonder if they're not notably different in this one. If the endings are, like, very different, that's super exciting. It'd be fun to go through and get a lot of them. If they're all mostly the same... I doubt I'll care. I got most of the endings for uh, the last clock tower, but I only got three of them for the first one. And this appears to have a hint system similar to clock tower two, which is good. I really, really liked that hint system. It made it a lot more reasonable to get the endings without using a guide. So hopefully I'll be playing this totally guideless. That's the idea. If I get very stuck, uh, I will look up a solution to a specific part if I don't know what to do, but I will try to do that as rarely as possible, hopefully not at all, and I'll, I'll let you know when I do, but we're attempting to do this totally blind. And let's jump into it. Melissa just called. She'll be arriving tonight. I really think it's okay having her stay with us. Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. Anyway, Ashley will be home soon. Don't look so worried. That might be Ashley. I'll go and see. The voice acting got so much better. It's kind of a shame it's not so hilariously bad now. Alan Hale. That Maxwell curse is... Maxwell Curse. 
Chapter 1, The Yellow Cursed Doll. Oh. Hello, Uncle Philip? Aunt Catherine, it's Alyssa. <gasps> Was that? And we're playing. Ooh, this looks nice. And runs very smooth. Okay. Shoes are here, so they must be home. Okay, let me check a few. All right, looks like we can save anytime we want. Green adjust. That's better. Uh, event cut off on. I don't know what that means. Vibration on, but I don't know if the emulator is working at vibration. Uh, like I wish it was, because I like vibration. I think it adds something to the game. Let me make sure, uh, or let me play around with the settings a little bit. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing on stream right now. Sorry about that. Uh, but this is the first time I'm playing this, so. Ugh. I'm going to make a very quick save state because I need to close the game to do what I need to do. So, sorry, bear with me one second. We'll pick up right there in about 45 seconds. Uh, video. Okay, that looks good. I think we're good. Okay, so back to where I was. Load the save state. As I said, this is the only time I'll ever use a save state for this sort of thing when I could go very quickly. Except to fix it, I think I just saved again instead of loading save state. Oh no! Yeah, I just saved over the save state I made. Oh well, I was about 10 seconds into the game. That's how little I use save states. I'm not fast on them. There a load? Nah, I haven't saved yet. Okay, we got a new game in. Hopefully the opening is skippable since I already saw it. Otherwise, we're watching it again. It's not skippable. We're watching it again. Lisa just called. She'll be arriving yeah. tonight. I really think it's okay having her stay with us. Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. Anyway, Ashley will be home soon. Don't look so worried. Okay, so we're Ashley. Someone named Alyssa is coming to stay that with might us. Be Ashley. I would assume these I'll are my parents. Alan Hale. That Maxwell curse is... I don't know what the Maxwell curse is or who Alan Hale is. <laughs> but we don't like him. And so far, this appears to have nothing to do with the first two games. Which is fine by me. I'm ready for a new killer, new story. Scissor Man's played out. Chapter 1, Yellow Cursed Doll. Hello, Uncle Philip. Oh, this is Alyssa, Aunt Catherine, not it's Alyssa. <gasps> Was that? And I am playing this at double resolution because I think it looks a little better. Other than that, it's not modded. It's not like a special ROM hack or anything. I don't use save states, so we're playing this totally vanilla. The only difference is double resolution, so it looks a little better. That also does cause weird artifacting sometimes. All right, so the arrow. If 
I have a... Okay, so it looks like it's going to control, like, the last one. I'll see my items if I scroll to the top. Uh, Missing the arrow means I will go through the door. So we're coming to stay with them for a while. We didn't ever saw... Oh, we never saw Ashley. What is going on here? Okay, good. Are you not going to, like... Be a little curious about that, Alyssa? Um, there, is that a, there's a leg sticking out of the toilet. Maybe we can flush it down. That's gross. No. We don't appear to be able to touch anything in here, but she's very unbothered by that horrible sight. What is going on in the bathrooms here? Did I turn a light on in here? Maybe it was too dark to see, and that was why she didn't care. Guessing that was it. Do you care now, Alyssa? Possible this is what her aunt and uncle's house always looks like? That's what I'm assuming they are. <gasps> what happened here? For a long time to notice. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Um, use this. Metal wash basin. Still, cool. This is neat. I like this. A human torso. Alright. Oh, I found a hint. Hooray. Hint number one. Do you hint now? Yes. Oh, I like they added that option. Alyssa and Bates encounter different events. If you find yourself unable to continue, first change personalities by putting down the amulet and then try again. Oh, we're in an ad break. I'll pause. All right, should be back. I paused it during the ad break. Um, he didn't miss anything. Looks like this game's gonna have like a split personality thing, where I'm gonna have two personalities. I wonder what this key goes to. Ooh, we got a key. So that's a new mechanic. It's a dining key. The line's dead. Much, much, much better voice acting. Honestly, the voice acting's fine in this. It's it's nothing special, but for, I think this said 1999 for PlayStation 1, pretty good voice acting. Good enough that I can take it seriously, and it's not just a big joke. Alright, move a little faster. There you go. Everything is normal here. I think our walk speed went back down again. I think we walked a little faster in Clock Tower 2. This this feels a little more Clock Tower 1 walk speed. Need to pick it up. She's, yeah, she's a slow walker. This fireplace can still be used. 
odd that her reaction is not to just immediately leave the house when she starts finding dead bodies. I feel like that would be my first reaction. Like, yeah, going for the phone to try to call the police makes sense. And then, you know, get out. The door is locked. Dining key? Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. What is that? So one important question here, is it story relevant that like the what is clearly meant to be blood or whatever is yellow, or was that like for sensors? It's only an arm? I know that was a common thing back in the day, sometimes to avoid especially rough ratings. It was done in movies a lot, change the color of blood to not get a worse rating. Uh, all right, I can't, inter there's a lot of doors I just can't interact with and I don't like that. It always annoys me. Why can't I try to open this door? Even if it's locked. And just leave? All right. We'll very slowly leave. No, I win in that room. The door I can't interact with. I hope that doesn't. I hope that's just like a early game thing and won't continue. Where there's just a bunch of doors you can't interact with. Go check upstairs. Hello. I mean, is that a per? Is there's a dude standing there? I'm just gonna ignore that. Or was that supposed to be a statue or something? Wow, this big house. Wait, go back out there. That doesn't look like a that's a weird statue. If that's a statue. Hello? Ooh, spooky. Oh, just a statue, I guess. Doors I can't interact with. He's really just wandering around this house where he found a bunch of body parts everywhere instead of leaving. This girl's nuts. All right, which of these doors am I allowed to touch? I can touch that door. That seems to be the only door. Guess we'll go that way. Okay. Just stop and play some piano. Or not. Oh. What? The, the piano.
There's a Clock Tower 2 poster in her room. Oh my. Does that confirm a uh, totally different continuity? That confirms that the Clock Tower series is a video game series in this world, right? So there's gonna be no connection at all. Buddy, I don't trust you one tiny bit. You're gonna attack me, guaranteed, at some point. Spooky. It's not yet. What the heck am I supposed to do? I leave? I suspect it may not be safe here. The door mysteriously won't open. Okay. Now we got our excuse for not leaving. Hmm. Back in that first bathroom. Maybe now I'll notice the body parts that I somehow didn't notice before. Oh, wait. Turn the light on. So I turn the light on from the outside. How annoying would that be? Can you imagine? I guarantee you, if I grew up in a house like that, I would have turned the light off every time my brother or sister was in the bathroom. What's that? Is your toilet paper green too? Or yellow? Whatever. A leg. Only a leg. Oh, I wonder what this yellow liquid is. Oh, she is. touched it. Just kind of slapped her hand into it. Hmm, I wonder what this is, Pat. Right. Okay, so I've now discovered leg, torso, and arm. Wonder where they're at. Maybe I'm supposed to find the rest of the body. Probably in the rooms I'm not allowed to go into. Can't grab the gun off the wall. Okay, let's go back in the dining room after now that we saw the other body parts. Because made me use a key for this room. This could be like a tutorial that may have been just for me to learn how to use a key. I don't know. Doesn't seem like there's anything new to interact with in here. My favorite arm. What? How? It's only an arm? I wonder if other buttons do anything. Nope. Pause and interact seem to be the only buttons. Hmm. Alright, let's go back upstairs. There was a door I could interact with in my bedroom, but... I never did because she ran away after the piano played itself. Oh, hooray! No, go stop it, answer the phone! No! We missed it, you idiot. Oh, the line's dead. We wait for it to start ringing again. Hmm.
All right, back in here. I'll touch the piano this time. Oh, there was a thing in here. Is that a head? Ew, why is it green? No! Oh no! Ashley! Oh, it's Ashley! Oh. I've heard that name before. My amulet? amulet. No! Stop! Don't be afraid, Alyssa. Oh. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? Okay, so now, now, so we have split personality, something on an amulet, that's what hint number one said, makes us turn into Bates, who, this game has not shied away from movie references, I'm sure that's a reference to Norman Bates, Psycho. Currently, we are Bates, rather than Alyssa. And I don't know if, if I can choose to use the amulet or not. Currently, I don't seem to have a choice. Door is locked. Don't have a key. Oh, it took the key away after I used it this time. I actually appreciate it taking out useless items because in the last game, you keep the items the whole game, even after you use it. Okay. Guessing we want to go show Bates all the body parts. I don't know. Oh, Bates can go in more rooms. E to the drawer. Okay. Nothing else in this room? Apparently not. Gotta go find a drawer somewhere. We have a key to it now. No locked drawer upstairs. Right, these doors now. What does Bates think of this statue? I want. He does not care. He won't even interact with it. Right, this door. Oh, 
Someone's alive. Alyssa, you're okay. Who the hell are you? <laughs> What kind of place is this? It's like a haunted house. Alyssa, no! No! Impossible! Alyssa's asleep. I'm here instead. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to Bates. I don't blame him. Bates is kind of creepy. Uh, okay. These guys have a big house. Must be loaded. Oh, Bates, walk faster, buddy. Oh, Philip's gone. Be a closet. Hmm. They have a lot of bathrooms, too. Uh, is the light switch outside again? What kind of psycho designed this one? Is that a Japanese thing? Your bathroom light switch outside the bathroom? Found a pistol. Score. Five bullets, apparently. That's interesting. Can I actually, like, shoot guys if they chase me in this game? Also, Phil, why did you not grab the pistol when your family was being torn to pieces? Might have helped. Hey, it's back downstairs. Just a couple doors to check. See what Bates has to say about things. No comment.
Thanks, what do you think about a leg sticking out of a toilet? Someone's leg. Huh? To the point. H doesn't waste words. Hmm. Oh, now he'll take the gun, huh? Maybe Alyssa won't use weapons, but Bates will. This'll make things easier. This'll make things or not. easier. You're not actually taking it there, Bates. Hey, we got a drawer key. Another pistol? <laughs> but left it where it is. There's guns all over this house. Why didn't that guy use any guns? Okay. Well, when we run out of bullets on this gun, we'll come back for this other gun, I guess. It's Alyssa's amulet. Bone. Dang it. Oh, the line's dead. Hey. You're asleep. Wait, I'm Alyssa again? Confused. Why did I turn back into Alyssa? Because I picked up the amulet?
Is it Ashley's? I am Alyssa again. What the heck? I should figure out that was Ashley's arm. Are we just assuming all the body parts are Ashley's now? Oh, wait. I guess I can go this way now. I want to be the other guy. I like him more. Uh. <gasps> oh, it's a little girl. <laughs> Stay away, little creep. Ah. I was sure it was going to be that armor that attacked me. Shooter! Shoot her! Shoot her! Does a little girl pour up Ashley? <laughs> so it wouldn't let me shoot her, but it seems like since you can find guns that they should be able to use them no problem i'm guessing if i play as Alyssa, i have to hide and if i'm being um eights then you can shoot them or fight back i bet it's one or the other that's my working theory at the moment Kind of refreshing to get chased by something other than Scissor Man, I have to admit. I was starting to get a little sick of Scissor Man by the end of the second game. Everything is normal. Wow, it's so full. Rubbing it in. So much food. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> you little brat! Um, ah! <laughs> ah! <gasps> little girl, decent, decent little creepy killer. I'm a little bit spooked by her. I don't want to hide in the same spot. Let's do something different this time. Run! under the table? Wait, what are we doing? You know, hit her with candles? I like it. Oh. Ha! Take that! Yes. Good solution. Shut up, phone. I know I can't really answer you. We're red, so if we get attacked right now, I don't think we can escape her. So in the first game, uh, you had to sit still. 
to get your health back. In the second game, you just had to not run into Scissor Man for a while. Are you serious? Again? Oh, wow. So in the first game, you had to sit still. In the second, you just had to not run into the killer for a bit. Um, I don't know what it's going to be in this one. Still red. Let's see if she sits down if I just stand still for a minute. Or what? She would physically sit down like she'd fall on the ground on her knees in the first game. To recuperate. Doesn't appear to be sitting. I'm also still red. I don't know. Maybe you have to find something, maybe like an item, or you have to like select a chair or something in this game. I have no idea. Hopefully I don't stay red or else I'm going to die. We can't try these doors for whatever reason. Really? Man, everything wants to kill you in this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, slow down, kid. He's running! That's cheating! I can't hide if she literally she sees me go there. No, 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 run, run. Oh, jeez. Never had a killer this fast before, either. Look at her go. It's like escaping Speedy Gonzalez. Got the Flash trying to kill me. Going to smack her with a chair? Yeah, get her with a chair. Die, you little. I missed. Well, seems to have worked anyway. Oh, that didn't really stop her. Dang. Oh, I'm dead. The door's locked. I'm so dead. Dang. Yeah, I'll continue. I'm gonna get my health back.
Oh, that's shiny. Like, I could switch back to the other guy. Let's find an item. Let's me switch between the two of them. Killer. <laughs> oh, right in the head. Nice shot. Okay, going back in, because I think that'll let me switch back to Bates. I like to be in Bates more. I'm going to shoot that little girl if she comes again. Statue? What is this? It's possessed. Ouch! It has some kind of power. Oh. What's that scream? Probably Philip. Uncle Phil, as you might call him. Look where. Okay, I guess. Should I go back to the TV rooms where he was before? He was in here. Not in here. I'm going to kill you. No, don't do that. Oh, there's a door over here? I used this before. Oh, there's two doors over here. Where's the other door go? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait. I saw a thing. There was something I can interact with out there. Go back out. Oh, hello. I'm going to kill you. You're the one trying to kill me? Yeah, use the sword. Going to kill you. Oh, man. <laughs> Little brat. No, she's running again. It's the flash. I throw her off the balcony or something? That would be nice. Use, use this. Smash your face in with that plant. Ah. Stephanie, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I have never been less sorry about anything I've done in my life. Creepy little girl. I bet she was creepy before she was, like, possessed into a psycho killer. Okay, we still haven't found where that scream came from. Maybe it was downstairs. This was just a closet, that's right. Whoa, first aid kit. So you heal with items in this game. Now I'm back to full health. Interesting, they switched it up on me. Okay. Ooh, that's potentially scary. That 
I mean, surely that means that we're limited in the amount of heals. And they seem to have made the killers faster, harder to escape from. Now, granted, I did complain a little bit about Scissor Man being a little too easy to get away from in the last game, but... There's something written here. It says, help. What happened in this bathroom? Hmm. Well, I guess back down. No, oh, wait. I wasn't really done exploring over here. Maybe that scream came from the room that was locked before. Let's try that one that was locked again. Maybe it's unlocked now. This door was locked. Still locked. Okay, okay. Uh, what was in this room again? Ah, yes. The statue that shocked me to touch it. What if I used, I don't know, the amulet? Did that do anything? This certainly seems to be E, the statue. I'm assuming that's what's possessing the girl. Oh, I can't touch it, but why? Use the amulet, right? No. Oh, I can't touch it. Blast it. But why? Blast it with the gun. Nope. Oh, I can't. You don't like any touch ideas. It, but why? I'm trying hard enough. It must be broken. I'm going to kill you. Oh, oh jeez, again with this brat. Oh no, there's not use the statue. I don't know. Oh jeez. Not that funny. <laughs> Let's throw Ashley's head at her. That'd be a good weapon. Ashley, I need to use your head on her head. was unlocked now for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Well, this is bad. <laughs> we gotta get rid of her and then find a first aid kit somewhere.
something I can use here. Leave me alone! There's nowhere to hide in here. He's gonna kill me. Oh, I could have hidden in the behind the bar again, potentially. Ah, I hope there's somewhere to hide in here. Under the bed? In a closet? Behind the desk? Literally anywhere? No? There's nothing to do in here. They're running! We're running in the house! I checked that door? I don't know if I've been in that door. I'm always being chased by his little brat when I'm in this room. Go! Oh yes, hide! interacted this door before. I think this is new. And it's locked. And that's locked. Why are all the doors locked? You claim to be normal before. Maybe there's a med kit in here. We need to find a med kit bad. Oh. Hey, wait. Oh, that's right. There was a sword in there. It attacked me. Is there a med kit in the uh, fireplace? This fireplace can still be used. Okay. There's a gun in here that I don't want. Oh, there is a first aid kit. All right, and there's a gun, but I could still leave it there. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice this before. I wonder whose attaché case this is. Open it! I wonder whose attaché case this is. Ooh, Alyssa. Oh. Hmm. I mean, it's the obvious thing is figuring something to do with that statue up there. I guess I, I haven't tried. Have I tried? I did try shooting the statue, but to ask. Hmm. Go check the kitchen. Go! Ha! I'm 
going to kill you. Dang it. Ha! <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I don't know, check the bathrooms again? Maybe something changed in there. Thing is normal here. So I think when it changes this view and they'll comment like everything is normal here, I think those are places where there's a chance of finding That's a med full. kit when I need one. And when I don't need a med kit, I won't find one, I think. Ashley? That's odd. This wash basin is made of metal. Why am I making note of that? Ashley's leg? Whatever happened to Philip? Never found him after we heard him scream. I assume that's what we heard. This thing again. Their shoes are here, so they must be home. Well, you spoke to one of them, and then you found a whole lot of body parts from someone else. Maybe the statue does something new now? Ooh, spooky. Hmm. What am I missing here? Just had help carved into it. There's something written here. It says, help. The heck am I missing? There could be a mechanic I'm missing completely. Oh, what the? What just happened? He stopped that. Oh, this is just a closet. I keep forgetting and thinking this is a room.
Oh, look at this. Ooh. And it disappeared. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's something here. What's this? <laughs> That's always just getting attacked by a little girl. That's what's everywhere. Oh, maybe she'll fall off? Little jerk. Hmm, all right. We gotta go back to that statue. It's like the only interesting thing. isn't a game. All right, so she comments on the Clock Tower 2 this poster, isn't this isn't a game. That does confirm we are in a totally different continuity and universe. The Clock Tower games exist in this universe. Ashley. Ashley, can you hear me? Here's just a locked door. Maybe there's something out on the balcony I missed before. I don't think so, though. I don't know, but I assume these are clotheslines. Here, there's anything at all out here other than the locked door. This is the first level. Am I missing something super obvious here? What am I missing? Wondering, like, I didn't read the little manual that comes with it. There could be some sort of mechanic. Like, maybe I, there is a way for me to switch back and forth between her and Bates, and I just don't know what it is. If I could be Bates right now, I would have different interactions with things. But I'm looking for a way to switch and I can't find it. I 
I'm thinking of something to do with his amulet. Because I switched to to her when I picked the amulet up, but it doesn't seem to be an option to just like put it back down. Yo, Battle Boss, what's going on? How are you? Can't sleep? Oh, that's right. It's like weird hours for you right now. Running on my stream is always a great choice if you can't sleep. Or even if you can sleep, uh, just putting on my stream is still a great idea. So. I can't hmm. touch it, but why? Not for me, it's 2 a.m. here. It is 5.30 p.m. here. Okay. I'm going to quickly look up a manual online because now I'm getting there thinking that I am missing a mechanic here because I feel like the first level, I shouldn't be this hard stuck. Let me see. Uh, manual? Actually, literally just look up a manual for this game. All right. Gameplay. Oh, they gave you an option to skip cutscenes in this game. That's awesome. So when I she's saying the same thing over and over again, I can skip it. I just have to turn that on. I'm glad I checked the manual. Okay, got it. So it says I can change personalities, leave the, and it was the amulet that did it, leave the amulet in a locker or something. So, oh, I might be able to put my amulet in one of those things where it's like everything is normal. Cool. I'm so glad I checked this little guide. All right. I think that did answer my question. Uh, first of all, an event cut off. Turn this on, and I think I can start skipping. Like, let me try to touch statue again and see if I can skip it now. When she's like, oh, why can't I touch it? <sighs> yes. That's going to be a time saver. Okay, so this drawer was empty, right? Can I put my amulet in the drawer? <gasps> yes! That's what I was missing. There is a mechanic I was missing. You put down the amulet. And now I should be able to turn into uh, Bates. Maybe if I try and touch statue. 
I was hoping I can't... Bates would be able to touch the statue, but I need to become Bates, so I think I might have to get myself in danger before I turn into Bates. Maybe if I get attacked by the little girl again, I'll I'll be Bates now. All right, we left our amulet in the room with the statue. I'll have to remember that. We gotta find this little girl and get her to attack us. And I think I can use the gun on her now too. That's gonna feel good. Um, where she attacks every four seconds when I don't want her to. Now I want her to show up. Go downstairs. She likes to show up when I'm in the kitchen. That's like her favorite room. Let's go to the kitchen. Is it Ashley? Oh, I love being able to skip those. That's so nice. All right, I'm in your favorite room, you little brat. I'm in the kitchen. Wow, it's so full. Ooh, another hint. Yes, view the hint. There are some events that Alyssa can clear only when she has put down the amulet. Put down the amulet and then try again. Hey, okay. So we I kind of figured that out by checking the manual. That's a great hint, though. That would have been helpful if I hadn't read the manual. Look how high the, these are. Either she's like four feet tall or this... Kitchen is super tall. Like, there's no way she's reaching those. All right, solid hint. So maybe we need to retry some stuff we've already tried now, but we put the amulet down. Sadly, touching the statue is not one of those things. Um, this door was locked, right? We're gonna try it anyway. We we'll try every door. The door is locked. But this door. We locked all these doors. Did I kill that girl when I made her fall off the balcony? Was that was that it? Is she done? Because she's not attacking me now. No, this is locked. I've checked it a bunch of times. Go back in this room. There's a gun in that drawer, but nothing else. Already checked here, but whatever. Let's check it again. Couldn't hurt. Thing is normal. 
Let's check this. Maybe I don't have the amulet. I can open this luggage. I wonder whose attaché case this is. Nope. Still won't do it. Why would you not look through it? That could be useful. Give me back Bates. Bates would dig through it. The battle boss, he missed the beginning. We have like a split personality with this like psychotic dude named Bates is my other personality. And I want to switch back to Bates because he's more fun. He's mean and I can use a gun. Alyssa is just kind of scared and has to run away from things. Oh, everything's normal. Try to open the front door again now that we threw the little girl off the roof. Nope, still won't open. Uh, let's check this thing again for like the fifth time. Spooky. Not that spooky. Um, but uh, did, uh, go check the bedrooms again. Check every room. This door's locked. This door's. Ashley's room with Ashley's severed head. <laughs> oh, finally. Can I be Bates now? Make me Bates. All right, I knocked her out and now I'm Bates, apparently. Oh, I think I accidentally skipped the cutscene of Bates doing that. Either way, being Bates is what I wanted. Shooter Bates. I keep accidentally skipping it. I want to shoot her, why are you not using the gun? There. Yes. Um. Maybe we have to get further away from the door. No, don't walk to her. Shoot her. Oh man. So if you misclick, you just walk towards her instead of shooting her. Okay, yes, continue. I misclicked again. Okay. Wow, using the gun is like super hard. You know, I'm gonna briefly turn off Cutscene skip because I'm accidentally skipping stuff I'd like to see. There! We blasted her! Feels good. Feels good. Now we need to find a med kit. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? All right, let's see if Bates can touch the statue. That's been my theory. Because it has the same little weird little glow around it, he does. Oh, first... 
There doesn't happen to be a med kit in here, does there? That would be nice. No. All right, grab the statue baits, please. At power. Mm, dangerous. Oh, he can't touch it either. Can you shoot it? No. At power. Mm, dangerous. Dang. Okay. Hmm. Well, I still want to stay baits because I was out of ideas with Alyssa. Maybe there's a med kit in this bathroom. No med kit. No, we need a med kit. Jeez, I sure didn't expect to get completely stuck on the first level. Everything is normal here. Closet, you have a med kit? Nice, first aid kit, baby. Any potential reason to turn the light off, I wonder? Doesn't seem to be. All right, let's see if I was right about him willing to dig through that luggage where she would not. Worth a shot. He can't even interact with it at all, okay? This will make things easier. Okay, last time I brought baits in here, I picked up the amulet and I didn't get to look through this room as baits. Huh? 
It's alive. Doors are still locked, I'm sure, but might as well try. Yeah, doors aren't unlocked suddenly because I'm Bates. Check the kitchen. Hmm. Dang. Nothing. What the heck am I supposed to do? The light off. Didn't do anything. Hmm. I can't believe it, but I'm close to having to use a guide in the very first scenario here. I have no clue what I'm missing. I feel like I've searched every room multiple times. I don't know if that means this whole game is going to be way harder than the first two, because I barely touched guides in the first two. Barely. But I have no idea. Looked at both those bathrooms as baits before fairly certain i guess i'll do it again to be sh totally sure someone's leg yeah i did Once again, I'm thinking it has to be something with that statue, but I can't do anything with it. Can't touch it. The only item I have is a gun, and the gun doesn't work on it. Oh, maybe the blood would be glowing or something in the dark. I don't know. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? 
I don't know, Bates. I think that kind of does it. I think I got to check a guide. I don't think I have a choice. I'm completely stumped on what to do. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, bathroom. Bedroom three, inspect the golden statue on the bed. Where did, where did they get the key to bedroom three or to bedroom four? Being a guide, it just like expects me to have a key I don't have, and I don't see where it tells me to get that key. Bedroom four through balcony one. Get the bedroom, get bedroom key from the closet. It's just, so I, it, I see nothing else about how to get to that point. And it's basically just telling me, yeah, you just get into the bedroom through the balcony. Every door connected to the balcony is locked. I'm assuming this is the bedroom it's talking about, but it's locked. Yeah, I had to go to a guide. I've been, I'm completely stumped. I've figured out nothing for a while now. But then I went to the guide and it was totally unhelpful. It told me to go through a door that is locked for me. But I, I'm getting absolutely nowhere. I think probably for 20 plus minutes, I've made no progress. I'm just wandering around the house, inspecting everything over and over again. I'm really stumped.
You should just give up. Thanks, Fat Mario. I'm back to this aimlessly wandering, because, uh... The guide was completely unhelpful. My amulet's in there. I don't want my amulet. One other balcony this way. But it doesn't connect to a bedroom, I don't think. Closet there. And balcony here, but yeah, this doesn't connect to a bedroom. Must be missing something fairly obvious, too. in here we're checking it anyway not a pistol but left it where it is I got no clue absolutely no clue Feels like I soft locked myself somehow. I've searched everything interactable now as as both Alyssa and as Bates. As far as I can tell.
Hmm. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing. I don't know. I'm gonna... I think I'm going to save and call it a day here. Uh, I may have to look at a guide before the next stream to see what in the world I'm doing wrong. But yeah, I've been messing around here on this first level for an hour and a half. And I don't have a clue what to do. All right. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out, Battle Boss. If you're still awake, I hope you're able to get to sleep soon. Fat Mario, you win. I give up for now. And uh, I will hopefully see you all tomorrow where I will continue this game and... I'll, I'll use a guide if I have to. You're still awake. Sorry to hear it. Have a good rest of your night. See ya.